A possible Russian drone flyover last week prompted a NATO military base in western Germany to briefly raise its security level, media in the country reported, citing anonymous security sources. The western military bloc said it elevated and then lowered the security level at Geilenkirchen Air Base due to an unspecified potential threat. Germany, a key ally of Ukraine, has been on high alert for possible sabotage and attacks on military facilities in recent months. NATO has used Geilenkirchen since 1980 serving as a base for its AWACS reconnaissance aircraft. German news agency Deutsche Presse Genter, citing German security sources, reported that the security level at the air base was temporarily elevated over intelligence findings indicating potential Russian sabotage using a drone. However, Geilenkirchen spokesperson Christian Brett dismissed the notion of drone flyovers as absurd in a statement. Reuters cited a NATO spokesperson at Geilenkirchen who clarified that the word Russia was never mentioned. We discussed a threat caused by drones, the unnamed NATO spokesperson was quoted as saying. There have been no official statements regarding a specific Russian threat at the base. Moscow has repeatedly denied allegations of sabotage against Western nations supporting Ukraine's defense against Moscow's invasion. Earlier in April, investigators arrested two German-Russian men suspected of spying for Russia and plotting attacks in Germany, including on U.S. military facilities, in an attempt to undermine support for Ukraine. 14 Boeing E-3A airborne warning and control system aircraft are based at the Gelsenkirchen airfield. Last week, NATO raised the security level at the base due to a probable threat and sent its employees home as a precaution. Both at the airfield and at the NATO headquarters in Brussels, they opened the possibility of UAV flights. NATO is planning to deploy an armored brigade to Finland to protect the country. According to the Finnish publication Iltaleti, the brigade, numbering approximately 4,000 to 5,000 soldiers, will be stationed in the city of Mikeli, which is just over 100 kilometers from the Russian border. NATO sources told Iltaleti that decisions on the matter have already been made, and NATO and Finland will publicly and officially announce the establishment of NATO headquarters in Mikeli in the coming weeks. It is noted that weapons for the NATO Armoured Brigade will also be stored in Finland, including armoured vehicles. The Finnish Defence Forces and the national leadership have concluded that Finland needs the presence of soldiers from NATO countries on Finnish soil to enhance preventive deterrence. NATO Brigade officers, soldiers who guard and service weapons and soldiers responsible for troop logistics will be permanently present in Finland, the statement said. It is noted that NATO considers the brigade's ground forces unit as a combat unit capable of delivering a strike that has a preventive effect. NATO Ground Forces Brigades also protect Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Lithuania has begun constructing a base for German troops 20 kilometers from the Belarusian border as part of NATO efforts to strengthen the border. The base will house up to 4,000 combat-ready German troops. This will be the first permanent foreign deployment of German troops since World War II. The base will operate near the capital Vilnius and just 20 kilometers from Russia's ally Belarus. It will store and service tanks and other equipment and will also have shooting ranges. Lithuania will spend more than a billion euros over the next three years to develop the base in one of the largest construction projects in its history, according to Lithuania's defense minister Raimundas Vaiksnoras. The base will operate near the capital Vilnius and just 20 kilometers from Russia's ally Belarus. It will store and service tanks and other equipment and will also house shooting ranges. Earlier, Latvia and Estonia also announced the strengthening of the border with Russia. Thus, dragon's teeth and border protection structures were installed along the border of Latvia with Russia and Belarus. Also, dragon's teeth and concrete blocks have been installed in forests and private lands in Estonia, 